Hey, this is Corey Cowart. I'm the youth pastor at Jackson Way Baptist Church. And I am doing, uh, for this week of Advent, we are focusing on peace. And so I would like to read Isaiah 9, uh, verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, uh, Prince of Peace. And since we're focusing on peace this week, uh, obviously uh, we know Jesus is the Prince of Peace, as it says here. And, um, you know, that's, that's something that we always, uh, as Christians, need to be reminded of, that he, uh, He's the place uh, that peace comes from because uh, he, He's the Prince of it. He's the author of it. Uh, he is the one that um, can give us true peace. And, and what's, cool about, uh, what's cool about Jesus is every character, everything that He can give us, uh, like peace and like patience and those types of things, uh, not only can He give us those things, but He is those things. Um, so He is peace, He is patience, and that's, that's kind of different of us to think about of somebody being just solidly a characteristic like that or a quality, um, but he, he is peace, He is perfect peace. And so it only makes sense that that's where we get, uh, we, we get perfect peace is from Him, is from the person that is uh, peace. And so uh, I remember, um, I've seen a lot of Christian t-shirts uh, over the years, and uh, there's one uh, that says, um, it, it says K-N-O-W, no. Uh, it says no peace, uh, no God. So it, say, it's, it says no peace and no God. So if we know peace, uh, or excuse me, no God, no, I said that backwards, no God, no peace. Uh, so if we know God, we have true peace and we can know what true peace is. And then in the shirt, if you look at it a different way, uh, it, says, uh, it says no God, no peace, as, and it says it N-O this time. So no God, no peace. Uh, and so if, if, if we don't know uh, the Lord, then, then we don't know true peace, obviously. And He, um, he is the one uh, that, that when we know Him, he, he gives us that peace. And of course today, uh, there's kind of counterfeit uh, ways that people try to bring peace. You know, they, they tell you to pursue a certain thing, or if you can just get this uh, accomplishment in life, then you'll have true peace in life. But as followers of Jesus, we, we absolutely know that this world cannot give us true peace. That yes, it may help us along uh, throughout our journeys. It may help us along throughout certain things. Uh, there are people that come into our lives, you know, friends and family and things like that, and they help us through certain times. Yes, that's, that's true. But only when we know Christ, only when we know God, that's when we know true peace. Uh, peace is also uh, one of the fruits of the Spirit, as we know. Uh, in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, he lists that as one of the fruits of the Spirit. And so um, when, when we truly know Christ, when we truly have put our faith and our trust in Him, that's going to be something that comes out of us uh, as followers of Jesus, that no matter what comes our way, no matter what trials, no matter what temptations, no matter what hardships come our way, uh, we, we can always uh, rest assured that we have true uh, peace, that, that we, can, we can sleep every single night knowing that God has this world in His hands. He has our lives in His hands, and He is the one that is, that is making sure that all things uh, are made right. And of course, that doesn't mean that we won't go through, through tough times. That doesn't mean that we won't uh, face trials in this life, but when we do, um, we can take heart that uh, we know the Prince of Peace, and therefore we have uh, ultimate peace. Let me pray for us. Father, we thank You, uh, God, that we are able to have peace because of You. Uh, Lord, You are the one that, that brings perfect peace. And God, we ask that this season, uh, Lord, dear, during this, this time, God, during this year, uh, that God, while it's, it's not the easiest thing to have peace, Father, remind us uh, that, Lord, You are working all things together, God, that You uh, have Your hand on all of these situations. And because of that, God, we can have peace in our life. And I pray that uh, every, every true believer, God, will, will trust in You for that peace. And it's Your name I pray. Amen.